Hello there and welcome back to another city update. I'm just checking my mic works because that's two days in a row now. Yesterday and the day before we've had mic problems. It seems to be good so I can continue with the video. But today we will be adding the subway to the city. You've seen that already. We have actually started work on the Minecraft display which was two days ago. I didn't really do anything to the display. I did show you what was already there which currently is a little bit of a mess but it's getting under control they're all sort of positioned where we want them my fiance did actually do some amazing art to show what we have planned for the minecraft display and that is the thumbnail of the video so if you don't want to watch the video at least check out the thumbnail and i'd appreciate a like if you did enjoy either of these videos including today's as the subway does look really cool and there is a special scene which i've probably put as the thumbnail because i'm so excited about it i've had this planned for so long if you remember back in one of my early lego city videos i would have mentioned it but that's enough with all the planning let's show you what has actually been done for the calf and as you can see the city does look well the calf sorry does the city looks amazing but the calf does look pretty cool I've actually built it on its side because originally there was a nice little water feature here. It just seemed a bit too out of place to run. But as I was saying, there was a water feature here that just looked a bit out of place. And I've turned it into a statue just to put behind this park bench where people can come sit, wait. There's a little bin if they do have any rubbish, which just lips over the bench quite nicely. I'd still like Lego to create some, I guess they've got the barrels which could be used as the bins without the arms, but especially the chest pieces without the arms for Minecraft. A run for another video I suppose, but you can see the menu before you walk in. We've only got three sandwiches here, one that costs two studs, one that costs three studs and one that costs again two studs. This guy's very happy, he's just walked out with his coffee, which I guess they must either have a drinks machine in there or he stopped off the central perk on the way. A lamppost for it to fit in with the rest of the city. I want to create some sort of pathway to have down here. Perhaps a little dirt path as it is down a side alley. And we could even add a bench opposite. Or perhaps a little road still. And we've got a turning that is more of a little side road than the main roads that we have. Of course, you can see there is a giant gap in the side there. But before we take a look at that, this wall can actually be removed to get a better angle from the city and means it's a lot more customizable down the line as it is the wall that's going to be on the front of the city. I guess the windows do open, but whilst we've got that open, there's a few figures I want to put in here. And if you've seen how it should have ended on YouTube, you'll know exactly what this is meant to represent. We do have a bunch of DC minifigures, perhaps I'll introduce them first. Of course, we have Batman, who is one of the most popular DC heroes, or vigilantes at least, and he fits just on the left there. And then we have this Clark Kent Superman, which is actually the Man of Steel figure, which personally I think is one of the better Superman figures. He doesn't have his red cape, which I guess we could give it to him, seeing as I have it at hand anyway, because I've just sorted out all my capes from my other minifigures and i have a ton that i've taken off for one reason or another like all the red ones actually from the imperial guards that might look a little better on the superman but we can get him to sit down the only problem with the capes is it makes it a little harder to sit him down what we could even do is slide the cape just behind the seat there just so it's out of the way and then we also have wonder woman who will give a nicer expression as they're sat in the super calf or subway or just the sandwich butt from my lego city which we'll get to a bit more in a minute and what i've done is because there's not enough space for the chairs against the walls here all i've done is added these two by two half plate half tiles they're the pieces the modified plates that have only two studs on the top and then we have batgirl here which I'm pretty confident in saying Batgirl and Robin are both from the DC Superheroes magazine. So Batgirl can go next to Batman and then we have Robin in the middle just to give it a nice, I guess, sort of shape as Robin would dip down compared to the other two. Or at least 
is a bit closer to the table than the other two. And then we've got this wall which does fit quite nicely if we get it the right way around on the back here. And the only thing we'll have to do is make sure Batgirl and Wonder Woman are sat forward enough because of the hairpiece and Wonder Woman perhaps a bit too far forward. But if we take a look from this angle, you can see that it's just like the table from how it should have ended. I'll put a comparison up to the left if you don't know what I am going on about. But it does look really cool that we've got that calf in there. There are a few contenders for this one. Originally, I think it was going to be a sort of take out place with a few tables in and the Avengers eating their shawarmas from the was it after the first Avengers movie? I can't remember where it was from now, but there is a whole shawarma reference where they're all in a cafe, sat around a table. I think it was after Age of Ultron. So I was going to put that in. I decided to go with this because I have a few less DC superhero characters. And I was also going to do the villain pub from Deadpool, which is actually in the how it should have ended for the villains, which is where it gets the name villain pub. But it is a reference taken from the first and perhaps second Deadpool movie it's definitely in the first one as it's where they sort of get all their bounty so there definitely have to be a Deadpool reference in there somewhere and I could always do that for the second floor the this could be the superhero food tower so perhaps I'll do the shawarma place on the second floor which is a bit weird considering how it's normally on the ground but I'll make it work somehow and then the third floor can be the villains pub and the fourth floor, I'm not really sure yet. Let me know it down in the comments below. But of course, onto the subway, we've got a guy here eating his giant two foot long because, of course, a Lego foot is one by one stud. So this is a two foot long subway, which imagine if they did them for a special. I think they'd be pretty popular. We've got this winter guy here who seems like he's sweating. Originally, it was from all the hard work shoveling. He shoveled all the snow, as you can see. It's nice and clear outside and finally stopped snowing. So now he's just sweating over what choices to make for his subway. You can see just through the top here that there is a little section for all of the different meats and a giant one on the left, which has definitely got to be the cheese. There's some sauces on the right and we've even got a chef making up the sandwich. A little tilt on the right with how much your subway is going to be and there's even a screen on the front. And a few spare condiments on the back shelf as well as again the menu telling you which sandwiches you can have and if you did spot it when it was like this originally we do have two harry potter cmfs here with a foot long for ron and just a bottle of ketchup which i hope isn't being drunk but i guess ron's definitely got some ketchup in his sandwich which i guess he's opted for instead of tomatoes now it's come together real nicely i've designed the exterior of it not really based on either a subway or the how it should have ended series but i definitely wanted to include a sandwich counter here for these sandwiches which i actually got these are stickered pieces from a gift with purchase that i got it wasn't january i don't think i think it was sometime late last year perhaps for the september releases and of course getting that long table in with all my DC characters as well as a few even a Harry Potter table down here we've got a policeman just walking in the store and that is who the chef is waving at the sandwich chef and we've even got the minifigure again out here I definitely want to fill out this base plate but let's go put this in the city and take a look at how it looks so as you can see I am using the new stabilization feature when recording which should make it a lot smoother for you i'll still try and move the camera slow because i'm only recording at 30 frames one day we'll hit 60 frames but the city is looking better by the minute this is where i want to add the side road that might curve the pavement round and then follow on to the left which might look cool in the end it might be another tower i create in which case i'll just move this one forward by the 16 studs or so and there was actually a mistake i sort of made when making this you can see just on the left ron and the other lego minifigure have been pushed in because their arms did stick out now i could pull out the arms but that is an illegal technique if you've seen my second illegal techniques video you'll know that you can't remove hands and arms off torsos well 
it hasn't stopped me especially when making custom minifigures as if we go up you can see a bunch of my star wars minifigures definitely have their arms pulled out of them but that actually looks quite cool from down here seeing all my star wars minifigures but back to the city it looks really cool where it is especially with this window on the right where you can see all the heads of the dc people and it looks even better i'm sure from the left with the streets behind it so i might have to drop my camera in it at some point and try and get a really nice image i am recording through my phone again i am trying a different technique than i did when i recorded my minecraft video which will be worked on very very soon but hopefully this looks and sounds a bit better for you let me know in the comments if you're enjoying the new format and the sea is definitely coming together of course we have the animal tower in the corner there then we have the lego tower which will need to fill in the museum some point soon if it would like to focus for me perhaps it's the white just playing with the lens of the camera there we go and once i fill in the museum there will be some minifigures added to both the lego store and the little sea life adventure tunnel we've got down there the sea underwater adventure tunnel that is an awesome name for it that's what it's going to be dubbed now underwater adventure tunnel then we have the massive fish tank and a little farm slash flower greenhouse on top yeah maybe naming isn't my thing but then we have the friends tower over here the sitcom tower even with the new big bang theory edition on top and now we have the superhero lunchtime tower which will be expanded upon for sure i'm not quite sure what we're going to do but i like the sound of the shawarma restaurant and then the pub on top let me know what you think should top off that tower if we do indeed make it a superhero I guess a superhero hangout tower might be cool so we can add something a bit different on the top but let me know any other restaurants that you think i could add or perhaps even a different sort of room on the top of the tower i think this turned out really amazingly and i like the fact that i can remove the front wall here that well, there you go it's a bit easier now when i'm not pulling off pieces but it means i can just customize it a bit more if i want to change anything about the city i can add a few things to that wall and once i've got the whole city built it will be awesome to take off the fronts of all the buildings perhaps i'll switch these up so we can also take off the fronts i know we can with the tower on top i'll have to modify the friends towers and the lego stores but if we can do that for all of them and see all of the interiors i think that would just be a really cool feature and like leaving the back out of it so that from behind if there wasn't the wall there we could see the interiors anyway i just think that's a really cool feature so i might revisit all of these modify them i have no idea how i'm going to get to the top one perhaps emmett's tower is okay you can continue building lego in the top there of course if you haven't seen my last city video i do speak about the new venom bike poly bag that we got in february which is really cool and i have fixed the tower on the back i also noticed whilst editing that video that i left this bike completely empty so You'll have to wait until next time for me to fix that. Do subscribe so you don't miss out on my awesome Lego content. And as always, may the bricks be with you.